Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to use the preprocessor directives in place of all the pointer declarations and definitions that we have already done in the program of LED Blink that we already wrote in one of our previous video. Let's get started. So I hope you remember this program. This is the LED Blink program that we wrote by defining GPIO peripheral structure and also RCC peripheral structure in previous several of our videos. So we just added these two files of gpio.h and clock.h of microcontroller stm32f446re and in these two header files we have declared structure for this gpio peripheral and in this clock we have defined the structure for this uh, rcc peripheral as per the user manual of the microcontroller and that is we have just created our own cmc structure and beneath the structure you can clearly see we have declared and defined pointers for GPIO A, GPIO B etc. And in a similar fashion we have just declared and defined pointers for RCC peripheral of the microcontroller beneath this RCC structure. So instead of declaring pointers like this we can just do the same with the help of macro definitions. So in the previous video we just learnt preprocessor directives in C language and various other definition of macros and conditional preprocessor directives with an example demonstration. And in this video we are just going to alter the declaration and definition of pointer done right over here with the help of macros. So what I will do is I will just first define the address of GPIOA. So okay, GPIOA base address. So base address is 0x4002000. And following that, I'm just going to define pointer for the base address with the help of macros. I am just going to provide the base address of GPIOA to this definition GPIOA. But I just want to typecast this of pointer type of this structure. That's it. So you can clearly see I have just defined macro of the value 0x4002000 that is the base address of the peripheral GPIOA and then I have declared a pointer of name GPIOA allocated with the base address value that is 0x4002000 and typecasted that value to pointer type of the structure that's it. So in this manner you can just remove all the definitions that we have done in this program that is the definition and declaration of pointers done in the program with the help of macros so that the readability of the program will be improved and we can write all these things or we can perform all these things in the pre-process stage of the program itself. So once you do like this the declaration and definitions will be done in the later part of the program but if you de define and declare macros like this this will be defined in the pre-process stage in the very very initial stage of the program itself. And in the similar fashion I am just going to perform the same operation for this RCC register also. That's it. I'm just commenting out this. And now also you can see I will not be getting any error. When you run this, you will get the LED blinking program working fine. So I hope you learned the basic methodology for defining macros 
for base address of peripherals in a microcontroller in this video with the help of type casting like this in the macro itself in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching